I just wanted to show an update on the temperature. It's like seven, it shows 70 degrees right there, but it's probably like 75 out in the sun. I mean, it's still, it's a little messy still, of course, and the acorns are starting to fall. It's going to be hard to collect or like get rid of, I don't know, but these are my seeds. <clears throat> I got a cover. This is a big update. I got these little hoop things. You hear the acorns falling. And I got this cover, so to help with whenever it gets super, 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 super cold later. And these are babies, so I don't know how the weather's going to be. So, so yeah. They look bad right now because I watered them, so the water weighed them down. There's nothing here, but I like, I want things here. I want them to be growing. I want flowers. <coughs> this is my hollyhock. I'm just letting it grow, grow, grow as much as possible. I can cut it later. I don't know. I don't know. I just like the way the leaves look. I wish this was like a fruit or something. I mean, like, something that was growing like that I could. I mean, I don't know. But... Since it's growing and surviving, I'm letting it be. <laughs> because nothing else really survived. So, I need to prepare more. I want to put stuff here. I want to put stuff there. There. I think I want to put garlic and some kind of flower there. But then it has to stay there for a long time. And then you'll harvest them in like July maybe? Or not July. Not that far. I don't know. In spring. And then hopefully... I should do onions too, huh? Um, because hopefully the ground will have had the onions and the garlic or whatever inside the ground. So hopefully it won't be so compact. Because that's what I've been dealing with is like... My soil is like clay, kind of hard. It gets really hard. So you have to constantly like till it or, you know, so I've been working on that. So hopefully if I plant something in the ground that will go like and make a ball and then you pull it, the, the ground will be looser and then I can grow, grow something else like a, a vine or something else on top once that is out of the ground. And I want to do flowers on here. I need to do that. They just never... I haven't... Yeah, so I covered the ground with all the leaves because that also helps make the ground a little bit softer, which actually I haven't checked, but... <coughs> anyway. All I know is these acorns are starting to fall, and that's going to be really hard to um, gather. <laughs> They're heavy when you put them all in a bag. And... I don't think the city likes, like, those bags that you throw. They gotta be kind of light. So, I gotta, see, I gotta see what I'm gonna do with all these acorns. But, oh well, we did cut part of the tree, so more sun comes in. I was not expecting to do that at all. Most of this was shade. So, that kind of is gonna extend some growth, hopefully. And, um... Look, so, I mean, I put some little flowers here, so I'm hoping they'll grow. I'm surprised at this. This is about to bloom a little bloom. We'll see if it doesn't freeze or something crazy weather-wise. And, of course, I want more stuff here. I want a lot. I'm excited about this. We'll see if it survives. We'll see. I just can't even imagine, like, I just want flowers. <laughs> we'll see. And we got, like, a new basketball hoop. So, we got this big box, so that's good to cover so that the grass won't... Eventually, I want to put a garden over here. And so, this is good to cover the ground <laughs> Isn't that a perfect little garden box? Like, if you really wanted, you could, like, fill it up. But I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't plan on buying dirt to fill that up. I just want to use the ground. 
Yeah, there's a little basketball. So I'm hoping to clean up everything, make a little border, at least of mulch. Eventually, I'll get mulch maybe after winter. I don't know. Because now, hopefully, I, I just need to like work it, make it look nice, and clean up the rest of the outside, and then I can really focus on the grass. That's what. It's been my goal for the last five years, but I've never been able to really work with it. <laughs> kind of just let it go wild. And do its own thing, but I really need to get some, like, clean up stuff going on. But I am excited about, so I went to a wedding this weekend and they had a little gift thing and and it was so nice. The little thank you card had wild like flowers in it. So I put them right here. I'm hoping they'll grow. Like flower seeds. So I'm really curious what they are though. They didn't say what kind of seeds they are. So, yeah, I just wanted to show all these little I probably bunched them up too close, so I have no idea. I don't know. I'm just going to let it grow, I guess. It's like a dedicated eating area, though. <laughs> it's healthy. I put like a bunch of lettuce, beets, carrots, onion, or shallot. Not onion. Little baby shallots. Um, some chive, I think. What else? Radishes. I put radishes just for the heck of it, because... I have no, not been successful and I keep wanting to try. I'm like, isn't that the easiest thing to grow? <laughs> it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be fast, so we'll see. I don't know. There's one radish right there from earlier in the season. I think. I think it's a radish. I'm not going to pull it. I just want to see how much it grows. There was a couple. But it was too hot, so apparently... If you grow them when it's so hot, they get hard. Like, and they're not... <coughs> they're harder to... They're starchy or something. I don't know. So apparently you're supposed to grow them in the cooler weather. Especially in Texas. Because it's so hot here. And it's like, we don't even have a chance in the summertime. It's a little 115 degrees every day. You know, like, you gotta have shade cloth for sure, and I did not have the cloth or a cover, so now I have a cover for both, like, I can get a shade cloth or a frost cloth finally, so happy about that and hopefully I keep maybe rabbits or whatever out of here too if I really close it up really good or whatever digs up all the little seeds sometimes things dig up my Things that I start trying to grow. So, hopefully. So, yeah, that's all. Cool little update. And with the weather, I can't believe how sunny it is. It's like, feels like it's hot, which is great. And I looked at the weather coming up. It is, it is like great. Like, like, 50s, maybe low 50s at night. And 70s, 60s. 60, 70, 69 around there for the next like month. So, give me at least a little chance. A little chance of something to continue some of the warm things that I'd like, like peas. Even though I'm way behind, but you never know if it doesn't freeze or if I cover it, it might survive. So. I'm excited. And then I got poppies in the ground. And tulips, daffodils, hyacinths. So those go in and then they go over the winter and then they come up in spring. So that would be nice. I really want a peony. I have one peony, but it's not the one I really wanted. Like, it was just a random one that I got. And it's like, it's not the type that I really want, so, but it did survive a 
couple years, so I want one of those really nice, big old peony ones. The one I have is um, <coughs> a single petal, like, it looks kind of weird, and it has, like, it doesn't have, like, a big flower, so, but it's okay. But yeah, I got this hollyhock, so I'm letting that grow. I like those flowers. And they're bright and pink. So, so And then I had daffodils in here, and I took those out because I didn't want anything not edible over here. Oh, there's a, there's a bee in there. Hopefully you can get it. I don't know why it's there. Yep, blew away. Okay, that's all. Gotta go. Bye.